Hey, what's happening? Uh, this is Ryan Digitano, and uh, welcome to Adventures with Dig. Well, I'm going to ride my bike to uh, the Grand Canyon today from Flagstaff. It's about 70 miles. I've never done it before. I haven't been on my bike in quite some time, so we'll see how it goes. Um, if you've watched any other Adventures with Digs, you'll notice uh, my back spokes broke all the time because of all the weight from my trailer here. Uh, I got these new uh, carbon fiber spokes off the hook. I'd like to thank Aerospoke, uh, my sponsor. They definitely uh, have saved the day for sure. I've been testing it out a little bit and it rolls awesome. But yeah, I'm heading out right now and um, I'll keep you posted, see how it goes. Hopefully nothing uh, horrible happens. I know it's going to be cold because it's the middle of November, so, all right. Hey, what's up? Uh, all right, so I'm ready to start my ride from Flagstaff to the Grand Canyon. I'm going to try to do it on nothing but forest service roads. There's no set trail. I just got to try to find, uh, find my way. So <laughs> I got kind of a little map here. You can see that. I don't know, take Forest Service 151 to 514 to 523, turn right on 416. So, uh, these are all Forest Service roads. And, uh, it's gonna be a doozy just trying to, if I get, I'm guaranteed I'm gonna get lost. <clears throat> One other thing to add on to my issues is my, uh, my gears are all messed up. My chain's about ready to break. Luckily, I have a chain. I've never put a new one on, so we'll see how that goes, but, uh, you can see right down in there it's broken I have no low gears I don't know if you can see that but so I have no gears to make the ride easier you know because they're I broke it and I don't have time to fix it I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens all right so there's uh, the San Francisco peak that's Arizona's highest mountain right there about 12,000 feet I'm about 10 miles out of flag. Just thought I'd show you the uh, ski hill here. It's a big old mountain. Okay, uh, here's the here's where the first Forest Service road starts. Now, uh, this is Forest Service Road 151. It's about 11 miles outside of Flagstaff. You're going to turn right here. That's going to get you on all the Forest Service roads. And then you can make your way to the uh, Grand Canyon via dirt Forest Service roads and camping and such. Problem is, it gets me off the main road. I mean, if something goes wrong, it'd be nice to be on the main road. And, um, yeah, they... This map I have is just some directions I wrote down from the uh, internet, and it's literally like a maze of Forest Service roads I gotta try to find, like 514, 210, don't miss a right-hand turn at the third gate. It's uh, a map like that, so I could easily get lost. Whew, okay, so I'm on 5, 151 still, and I've followed the map. I'm trying to find 514. Can't find it. Not good. Plus, I'm having to push push my bike, which I hate. Because I don't have any of the low gears, so I can't. I don't know. I might have I think I'm gonna head back down to the road. Which sucks. It's not what I wanted to do, but I don't want to get lost in these woods. I mean I wouldn't. I guess I wouldn't mind getting lost, but kind of on the time schedule. I want to make it to the Grand Canyon, so I'm going to head back to the road. And uh, maybe when I get to that Nordic Center, I'll show you what that's all about. I, know, I haven't seen it either, so we'll check that out and uh, continue on our journey. Still trucking along here. Haven't made it to that Nordic Center yet, but uh, off to the road here is a nice little Aspen forest. There's something to be said for aspens, man. They're beautiful, they really are. All white. 
fighting pretty. Here's the uh, Flagstaff Nordic Center. Just a parking lot. There's the back side of the peaks, San Francisco. You got some snow up there. It is November 2nd, so I'm gonna keep trucking. Alrighty, so I've uh, I've gone, let's see, 20.61 miles. I've rode for about almost three hours, two hours, 45 minutes. I'm, uh, I'm beat. I'm gonna have to call it a, uh, call it a day, I think. So I've just pulled off the road here, found a little campsite. Uh, not really a campsite. I'll make it one though. So I just gotta set up my tent and uh, get some rest, get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, I, I'm beat. I can't do another hill. My legs are killing me. My butt hurts. Okay. I got spaghetti, spaghetti, beef stew, beef stroganoff. I think I'm going with spaghetti. So I'm going to cook this up. See me? There I am. Yeah, I'm going to cook this up and uh, get some nourishment in me because I am, I got the, I'm shaking, I'm so hungry. So anyway, here I go. I'm going to cook it up. Okay, so what I'm doing here is uh, heating up some water. I'm just going to add it to this right in the bag. You pour it in, shake it up, and you're ready to eat. Only problem is I didn't bring a spoon. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to have to use this. Put it in there. I don't know. I'll figure something out. That really sucks. It's the little things. Spoons. Chapstick. I forgot chapstick. Okay. Day one's in the books. I just ate. Oh, I felt great. You're not supposed to keep food next to your tent and everything because of bears, but I'm too tired. Let them get me. I got a little... uh fire here set up for the morning or in the middle of the night if I get too cold. It is November so it's going to get freezing tonight. Hope I have enough uh, warmth. Um, yeah, that's my little site. There's my little dinner table. Tent, sleeping bag, you name it. Alright, I'm going to retire. <sighs> what a cold miserable night. I'm freezing. I gotta start a fire. <laughs> uh, 50 miles out. Way down there. That's where I have to go. I'm absolutely freezing. And I have no water. None. So if I don't make it there today, I'm screwed. See that mountain behind me? San Francisco Peaks, that's where I came from. It's been mostly downhill. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, I'm here about 50 miles from Flagstaff, and there is a little town here. Gas stations, lodging, and yabba dabba do time. That's where I'm at. So I'm here in uh, Bedrock City. About 50 miles from Flag on the way to Grand Canyon. Uh, yeah. It's a gift shop. They got food here. I'm going to go get a bite to eat, get some lunch. And uh, looks like Bedrock City's out back. You can uh, go hang out with the Flintstones or whatever. But yeah, I think V A L L E is what this town's called, Val, Arizona. So. Yeah, I didn't know I had any stops. I would have rode all the way here last night, but uh, I'm going to get something to eat. I'll let you know how the food is. I think this, wasn't this on uh, National Lampoons? So it's about five bucks to get in here. It's so windy and cold. 
let's check it out. Okay, sorry about the wind. Okay, so you got the <laughs> Godosaurus. Uh, yeah, looks like a volcano over here. So you gotta, they have a little ride that goes through the volcano. You can't go in it unless you're in the ride. <sighs> Bedrock Theater. This is the grocery store. Bedrock Grocery. Rhinosaurus ribs. What am I doing? I need to get on the road. Here's the beauty salon. Pearl and Ruby Stone Heimeropper. Whatever that means. Here's the big old Brontosaurus. Oh, this wind. Here's the movie theater. This would be the movie theater here at Bedrock. Non-stop Flintstones. <laughs> okay, so there's the quick tour of uh, Bedrock. Hope you enjoyed it. I gotta hit the road. Um, yeah, it's quite enjoyable. Well, I made it to Tucson, which is about 10 miles from the actual Grand Canyon. I can't make it any further. I, my legs are shot. All right, here's what I did today. 73 miles total. So I left today with 20 miles, so 53 miles. Um, looks like my average speed was 9.6, my max was 34 miles. Been on that bike for 7 hours and 34 minutes. <clears throat> After you leave Fred Flintstoneville, it's nothing but uphill. Uh, horrible. It, it was bad. I'm so glad to be here. I'm going to go sit in the hot tub.